Hi, welcome back to Four Teachers. Today we're going to be talking all about reasons why you might want to become a primary school teacher. So the number one reason why you might want to become a teacher is because it's really inspiring and it's really creative. Every day is different. If you want to have an art day, a no pens day, a computing day, or a day where you go to the Sea Life Centre, you can be as days. creative <laughs> as possible. Also, whenever I get asked what I do for a job and I say I'm a teacher, I find I get a lot of really positive response from people. You get a lot of job satisfaction from working in a school with children. Okay, point number two that we're going to talk about today is something that everyone always talks about but maybe shouldn't brag about. The holidays, the holidays. is probably the most important <laughs> thing that everybody says. I think as a teacher you kind of forget that you're working for six to eight weeks for a half term yeah. and you're really excited for your holiday, you're everyone counting is. down. So having six weeks off of the summer means you can travel abroad, yeah. you can go to a different continent, you can have the whole six weeks exploring a different country and then come back and have that security of having your job. Don't brag about it too much, but it is one of the big perks. I think a lot of teachers think about the hours that they work as well. They're very conscious that they're putting a lot of overtime that's unpaid. They're working yep. extra hours, getting all the reports done. So many. <laughs> in so many more lesson plans, uh, putting on a performance show, planning a trip. All of these take time throughout the term. So you do definitely earn and reward yourself with those holidays. You do start on a reasonably good first wage. And it does go up in increments each year. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, the idea is that the more you progress through your career, that it's going to increase each year upon year. Start off as an NQT and really quickly within three years you're going to be head of a subject, yeah. you might be leading uh, some new projects, you might be helping your school develop their curriculum. There's lots of different avenues to explore because most schools need a head of maths, a head of English, yeah. but all the other subjects as well, you can find something, you can find your niche and you can start to bed down and get some ideas out there. But very quickly, I think we found... You find your flow. <laughs> yeah, you can have a voice in meetings, you can dictate uh, what kind of path you go as a whole school yeah. and start to lead what you think is important to develop. So that's really exciting for a new person starting their career. Third point we want to sort of talk about is the fact that you need to appreciate your little colleagues. You are going into work every day and you're going to be surrounded by a class of children who, if you play your cards right, will absolutely worship you. You can go in and do a lesson that doesn't work or you can try something new and most of the children you work with, they will not judge you, they will not mind and they will appreciate and soak up everything that you do. Yeah, having a teacher who's into the same kind of things that the children are into or got different paths that they want to explore, yeah. it really helps the children. I think they need to see that teachers are not just one type of person. There yeah. can be a range of things. So uh, as well as your co-workers, think about the children in your class. They're the people you get to work with day in, day out, every day. You get to come in and see them and hopefully you'll like a few of them. <laughs> uh, but to hear their comments and their feedback is really important. In a lot of jobs you're working with people that maybe give you a false opinion or are trying to network all the time. Children aren't trying to network. They are they are all or nothing. They will give you so much appreciation and it will make the job feel really, really worth it. Okay, point number four is the fact that teaching is the kind of career that might take you in new directions. There's always going to be a school crying out for someone who's just a little bit more into one area, arts, drama, computing, <laughs> anything that really takes your fancy. If you're looking to maybe branch off from teaching in the future, if you were looking to work in business or in human relations or anything to do with child development, teaching is a really, really good skill to have. I know that employers will look at that desirably. And tip number five is all about the chances and the opportunities you get, particularly we want to focus on in this section, are international opportunities. Teaching is something that you need in every single country in the whole world. By getting yourself a teaching qualification, you're opening so many doors Find a school where they're going to really appreciate that you are eager to travel, you want to explore the world. Those kind of qualities really make you a great teacher. There's something that you're going to inspire upon other children as well. We've taken that chance. We've moved abroad. Um, we work internationally at the moment. Your teaching degree will be recognised throughout the world. Teaching can really take you anywhere. I think we're kind of positive <laughs> about spreading that message. Maybe you've taken an English language degree, maybe you've done something to do with sport, which is something that a lot of our friends mm. have done, and you're struggling to find a job in that exact area that you've qualified in. Teaching is something you can add on to basically anything. So you might find that even though you've gone down a drama route or a sports science route or music route, it's still something that you can add on to the end and you can still channel that passion and that creativity into the career that you want long term. What I'm really shocked about all the time is how specific some of those jobs are. They might be, we're looking for a primary teacher with Spanish language skills and you think, 
well actually that could be a perfect yeah. fit for somebody. Like a custom made job for you. Yeah, <laughs> and you know how in primary school there's always one teacher who plays the piano yeah. in assembly and really they would snap you up if you've got oh, piano yeah. or violin skills. The school's going to love yeah. you, they're going to really want to hire you. Thank you so much for watching this video, especially if you are someone who is maybe just about to apply to try and become a teacher. Don't forget to add, subscribe and leave some comments. Thank you. We are... Four teachers. <laughs> Yeah, we really are. We really are. Thank you for watching. Yay.